Hey guys, and thanks so much for joining me for another video today. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a collaboration video with a bunch of other girls here on YouTube, and it's all about Super Bowl food. Football food is always the best. I just love it, so it's going to be, I can't wait to see what everybody comes up with. And thank you especially to Taylor Elmore. She has so kindly hosted this collab and put the playlist together, so I will definitely be linking her channel below as well as the playlist. Definitely make sure you check it out. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of awesome and delicious snacks on there. But here for me lately, I have been loving and being like obsessed with grazing boards and snack boards and all sorts of stuff like that. So that is what I've decided to make for this collab. So if you stick around, I'm going to show you how I make it. So here's kind of an overview of everything that I'm going to be putting on this board. I have like my meats and cheeses and my dips and a ton of fresh vegetables. I did not use my cucumber or the arugula um, because the cucumber was like scary on the inside and I didn't need the arugula um, to like fill in spaces. I didn't think I wanted to use that, but I'm going to go ahead and wash and prep all of this. So while my veggies are drying off a little bit, I'm just gonna go ahead and make my ranch dip. This is super easy and only has two ingredients, just 16 ounces of sour cream and a packet of the ranch dip seasoning. So I just mix that up and I refrigerate it and it just, this just tastes so good. Oh, it's the best dip, I love it. So now that my veggies are all squeaky clean, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping them. Basically just cutting off like dead leaves and like root ends or you know, I'm gonna be peeling my carrots and stuff like that, cutting up all my veggies. And then I'll show you guys how I put the board together. Am I the only person that gets like excited when they see like different kind of produce? like? I get so pumped when I see these carrots in the store. I actually got these from a farmer's market this weekend, but um, whenever I see these little miniature like baby carrots, but they look like the big carrots in the store, I always get them because I always feel like they look so fancy and I just love them. <laughs> that may sound weird, but I don't know. When I see like different produce, like they have little mini like zucchinis at Trader Joe's that I just like, I can't deal. I love it. I think it's so cute, but um, that's just something I, <laughs> I thought I would talk about. But if you're the same way, let me know. And if you're not, I'm sorry. <laughs> So right here I am cutting the green pepper. I'm gonna cut the red pepper the same. I'm gonna put my dips in here. So I'm gonna put the hummus in the green pepper. So I'm hollowing it out and just cutting the little top off. And I'm gonna put my hummus in there. And see I took all the seeds out and everything. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my ranch dip in my red pepper. I thought this was such a cute idea. I saw it on Pinterest and it's like an edible like dish, like kind of how you do like soup in a bread bowl. Um, dip in a vegetable bowl like hello that's so cute I love it so yeah I did this you can definitely just put like little bowls out for dip if you're you know not into that but I thought this was a cute idea so like I said I love football food um, we love football in my house my sister and I really bonded over that with our dad um, unfortunately my dad is no longer here but I always think about him especially on game day we used to always put out like ton of food and there was always just you know laughing and a lot of times screaming because we are Dolphins fans and if you watch football you know things are a little rough for us I'm not trying to sound bitter but it's it's a rough time to be a Dolphins fan like all the time so um, this just reminds me always football food always reminds me of like family get-togethers and it's just got a special place in my heart so for the celery I kind of wanted it to be like the same um, length as the peppers 
that I chopped up over here. So I just cut them down lengthwise in half and then I cut them in half again. And that way we have like different size groups for things. So like um, the green beans are kind of longer. So I'm cutting my green onions to be like kind of the length of the green beans. So I'm putting my ranch dip in my little pepper cup. How cute, you guys. I love this. I think it's so cute. And then I'm putting my uh, hummus in my green pepper. And then I'm going to start putting the board together. So I've got all my veggies out there now and I just wanted to show you when I'm doing salami to make it look like fun and like pretty, <laughs> I fold it in fours and it's going to pop up when you do that so like don't even bother doing what I'm doing. <laughs> you just have to keep like stacking them kind of on top of each other and then uh, eventually the weight will kind of stack up and it'll, they'll look really good. And then I'm just going to roll up some turkey and ham and my cheese was already sliced and cubed so I'm just putting that on the board and it looks so pretty. Alright guys, so this is what the board looks like. I think it looks so beautiful. It just looks so like delicious and fresh and I love all the veggies and I love the meats on there. I think that this is perfect for everybody, you know, like the veggie lovers, the meat lovers, the high carbers, the low carbers. <laughs> I don't know if I would want somebody calling me a high carber, but whatever. Either way, I think that this works for everybody. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you were able to get some delicious inspiration from here and definitely feel like you'll get a lot of inspiration from the playlist. Again, thank you so much Taylor for putting this together and allowing me to be a part of it. This was definitely a blast. I hope everybody has a blessed and awesome week, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!